if you're looking at taking the LSAT in June, I would strongly consider taking it in July as well because you only have to study for five to six weeks more, maybe do another full length timed exam or two per week over the course of that five to six week period. And then if you're looking at the fall LSATs, you have of course, September, October, and November, but those are only each about one month apart. And so once again, you only have to stay fresh on the LSAT for another four to five weeks or so between each test administration. And since law schools do not average multiple LSAT scores, there's really no downside to retaking the LSAT. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.